Uh, ladies and gentlemen, so you want to raid guild for Legion? I did this a little while ago, but we're going to bring it into the forefront and update it for you, even if you have absolutely no experience. So, you're about to join a raid guild. That's going to involve an application process. This is to defend the guilds from noobs, not something that makes it feel like work. They don't want to invite idiots, so you're going to prove that you're not an idiot. How are you going to do this? First things first, you are not going to start looking for a guild. That is incorrect. We don't do that till much later. What we're going to actually do first is play some World of Warcraft. Yes, we are. What we're going to do is learn how to log. Logging is super easy and it's free. So there is absolutely no reason you shouldn't be doing this. And this is going to start setting you apart instantaneously from everybody else. What you're going to do is jump over to warcraftlogs.com. Then you're going to download their little application. It's very easy. It takes a couple of minutes, depending on your internet connection. And once you have that, you'll have a little program on your desktop that allows you to upload logs privately. You can hide them to wherever you want onto Warcraft logs, and then you can start gaining some information. In order to record logs, simply log into WoW and type slash combat log to begin. Once you've finished, type slash combat log again. Navigate to your WoW folder, look for the Logs folder, and there you'll see a notepad file called Combat Log. Go to Upload in the software and click that file. And that's it. Your logs are uploaded. Next, you're going to jump into LFR. You're going to buy yourself some potions. If you can't be asked buying potions for your guild app, then don't bother. People will want to know why you're not doing it. You want to treat this LFR run as if it was a real raid. We're not going to treat it as if it's LFR and ignore mechanics. We're actually going to demonstrate that in a raid we are capable of doing mechanics. We're going to look for fights where our class has some sort of specific goal. If it's something that requires proper tanking, like say Manoroth, or if it requires ad management like Gorefiend, then we're going to be looking at those fights specifically. What we're going to do is go into those fights and we're going to play as if it was a raid. If our focus should be on ad management, then we're going to be the best at it, or at least try to. You have to remember there will be people inside that LFR who no doubt outgear you, or are considerably worse than you. What we're not going to try and do is pwn the deeps. What we're going to do is play as if a raid guild would want to invite us and have us around. We're not trying to beat people who are considering we have no idea how good they are, or whether or not they're packing mega legendaries, or whatever it might be. So, once you do this, and you should be doing this, because hopefully if you're going into a raid guild, you have an understanding of the fights, and if you don't, this is a great place to learn, you're going to play it out. You're also going to record it. You're going to go to open broadcast software, you'll download it, it's completely free, and make a reasonable 720p recording of your fight that you can then upload to YouTube. You're going to be able to link this within your application and again set yourself apart. The beauty of this process is that you could do it as many times as you want. If you screw up in there or do something majorly noobish, then you can do it again and no one is any the wiser. This is not cheating. Hopefully you will learn the lessons of why you died in LFR or whatever it might be while you're doing this process. But ultimately what you should have is a decent log and a decent video recording of you playing it. I will point out here, if you are clicking, this is going to be a big giveaway try and use this opportunity to try and get yourself key binded what we're trying to avoid in any guild application is anything that people are going to pick up on even if they're terrible players and start mocking you right that's something we really want to avoid in any and all cases and clicking is a big one even if they still click some abilities they will be hiding that in many cases by pointing out oh this guy's a clicker he's no good that is a def definite giveaway to just having a down on your application. Try and get key binded. Use the link in the video below so you can actually try and beat that process. We're then going to analyze our logs. What we're looking for is things that we can talk about in our application. We're going to look at things like stacking cooldowns. Here's where I did that. And particularly where we focused on what our goal in the fight was. <coughs> if we wanted to control the ads... We want to make sure we're pointing out and having a log and a visual picture of that happening. Yes, my DPS wasn't the best because of gear or whatever, but look how I dealt with the ads, which is going to be a vital part to your raid. I am the guy you want in your fights because I will sacrifice my DPS in order to do this. And again, 
Uh, Gorefiend is a great fight for this in LFR if you're doing this kind of aspect. And also then you can say things like, oh look, I saved my major DPS cooldowns for Feast of Souls so I could maximize my damage output during that phase. And here is how that paid off for me in comparison to everybody else who was just mindlessly zerging. I am so much better than these players. Invite me. So you're going to look for a couple of things in your logs that you can talk about in detail. Again, that's going to set yourself apart from everybody else who didn't bother to do this. The next part we're going to do is actually write the application. Now, we haven't looked for a guild yet. We haven't had a guild template or anything like that. But this is what we're going to do. What we're going to do is use the link down below, which is my application. And then we're going to fill it out before we start looking for a guild. What we're going to be focusing on is hiding the negatives and accentuating the positives. If you have absolutely no experience, there is no reason to make one line or more about your lack of experience. <clears throat> you can easily just put into one line, I have not yet raided, but look at what I know and what I could do about the game. And then we're going to go into the logs and all that kind of stuff. If you have no history, you can talk about other games. We're going to remember, a big reason people want a guild, or if you're not sure why people want a guild, is generally you will make the best online friends once you immerse yourself in a large crowd. Even if you join the game with RL friends, often the case is that... You know, you just don't have the same in-game goals. One of you will like pet battles, another will like achievement hunting, or whatever it might be. So you put in what you favor in the game. If you like pet battling, put that in. There'll be somebody in the guild who likes that and will positively support you. What you don't put in is things you hate. I hate achievement hunting. Maybe the guild likes doing some achievements towards the end of the fight. Oh dear, pretty bad. So you want to don't put in anything negative. We're looking for all positives, all about your history. Make sure that everything is cool in there, nice and filled out. Take your time and write this out. Don't try and write it in your lunch break at work or anything like that. Because trust me, I've written those applications and I've read those applications from other people. They are noticeably rushed and garbage. Don't want to do that. So now <laughs> we have our application. Now we're going to start looking for a guild. Do not, do not punch above your weight. You may want to be in the next method. But if you have never raided before, that's not going to happen. Look for a guild that seems about right for you. What you're looking for, depending on your level of play, is a guild where you can make mistakes. And it's going to be okay. If a guild is still working on something like Hellfire Citadel Late Normal or even Mid Heroic, those are guys who are making several mistakes more than likely. And you will be fine to make mistakes there. If you have no experience, this is a learning process for you as well. Do not assume under any circumstances you know everything, because that is the first step to being an absolute fucking a-hole in a guild. You are not that guy. Trust me, you are not. You need experience. You need to do a fight many, many times before you really understand everything that's going on. So look for the correct guild. If the guild requires a minimum of three days raiding and you can only make two, don't apply. At the very least, tell them you can only make two out of three. Some guilds are fine with that. As long as you tell them, do not post lies in your application because I guarantee you it will come back to haunt you. People are amazing at armory stalking. Amazing at it. I have no idea how some of the things people find out about other players in World of Warcraft occurs, but they will find out. If you start suddenly saying, oh, I can't make Sunday's raid this week. I can't make Sunday's raid next week. All that kind of stuff will just get a negative and you'll probably fail your process. Don't do that. Tell the absolute truth so you go in with no bullshit, no baggage, nothing to hide behind it. Don't do that. Do not punch above your weight. Look for a guild that's suitable for you. No experience, look for somewhere you can make mistakes. Got decent experience, start using your experience as a bonus. Add all this stuff in and you'll be fine. Once you've found several guilds, you're not going to apply to one guild. Terrible idea. Because you put all your hopes and dreams in one basket, and often that doesn't pay off because they just don't need somebody, or they already have something in mind, or maybe it's not going to pay off, or maybe they're coming to a stop for Legion. All these things, kinds of things that can occur apply to many guilds. Check whether or not they are still raiding. Any even reasonable guild, as I've just shown, you can use Warcraft Logs. Do your homework. Go to Warcraft Logs. Check out the guild. When did they last raid? Are there people in there who seemingly are never there from week to week? Random names. Just check a few raids. Who was in the raid? Is it the same group of people? Or are they bringing, are they bringing pickups? Are they bringing people from trade chat? This is not things you want to move into. And do not, under any circumstances, be afraid of realm changing. 
It's a big thing. I see people, like, oh, well, this is my home. That does not exist in World of Warcraft anymore. You can cross realm pretty much everything. You can add your friends to Battle.net. You can do all these things. For the amount of money it costs to realm change, in comparison to the amount of money you'll spend every month while being miserable, there is no comparison. Do be open to realm changing. Look for the guild that fits you. If you have three days a week and that's only a Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and they raid a Monday, Wednesday, Saturday, that guild's no good for you. Just dismiss it. It's okay. <laughs> there are lots and lots of guilds out there. So once we found our correct guild, it's time to look at how their application process works. Often, it's a template. So what we're going to do is open our application that we've already written out and simply copy and paste the sections out of our application into their template. Most templates are very, very similar, carry the same sort of information, and you'll be able to fill out many, many guild applications in a matter of minutes by simply copy and pasting your app into there. If they have an outlandish question in there that you didn't answer, then answer it as best you can, but make sure your good information, which is about your logs, your character, your class, why you chose certain talents, all that kind of stuff, is put into there so that they know you're a good player. Very, very important. After that, kick back and relax, my friends. That is all you need to do. It is. Just let it happen. People will find you and you will have a good time. And believe me, find a guild. You'll have so much more fun if you do that. All right. Thank you so much for listening. Enjoy your rating, guys. Bye-bye.